Hi, I'm Greg Thorne with GetRodBlanks.com and today we'd like to show you a short video on how to make what we call a offset corkscrew type 4 grip, uh, particularly for the use on musky rod handles. A lot of people today, probably two-thirds of the musky anglers out there, do palm their reel when they're retrieving their lure, so they're not using their foregrip. But for the other third, um, myself being one of them and a lot of the guys I fish with, still prefer holding on to a foregrip. And a traditional cone-shaped foregrip during the, a whole weekend of use of hard fishing gets to be quite uncomfortable, uh, especially after you used a more ergonomically designed foregrip like this. Um, it fills up the palm swell in, inside your hand, uh, much more comfortable to hold on to, let much less fatigue, creates a little different angle on your wrist, and it's just a game changer for people that hold on to the foregrip. So, I want you to follow us into the rod shop again, and we'll show you how to put one of these together. Okay, what we've got here are the necessary pieces for making the offset or corkscrew foregrip. I've got seven corks. Uh, they're a hat one, one and a half inch in outside diameter. And I'll let you in on something. They're actually about three-fourths of an inch thick. We list in cork as a half inch thick, but they're they're really closer to three-fourths of an inch thick, which gives you a little bit more for less. Who does that anymore? But anyway, um, I've got seven corks. Two of them, this first one and, and, the, and the last one, this will be the outside one, is reamed out on center. And then the rest are reamed off center. Uh, leaving about uh, uh, sixteen or eighth of an inch, eighth of an inch on the on the top end there, and you can use an inch and a quarter, but I'm using an inch and a half here. I like a little beefier foregrip, and if you wanted to use an inch and a quarter, you can, but it's going to be a little skinnier, of course. So we've reamed them out off center, uh, except for the, the the front one and the back one. Now what I'm going to do is just wield this 1,000 foot musky rod around and then slide these down onto the blank. And what we'll do here is bring them down. I like to bring anchor them down right now about high side up. Twist them so the high side is up. This one's on center, so that's going to be like it is. Now, I'll hold the foregrip, and as you can see, I've got kind of a pocket in my hand here, and this is we're going to fill in by twisting these these corks, getting that high side down and off to the side. Off to this, we're going to fill in that palm pocket, kind of like a. It feels like a, a palm swell on a rifle. If you ever had one of those on your gun, you don't really want to shoot anything else. Now we're going to start swinging the last tube in a little bit. And I like to hold my foregrip with my finger over the top and most people don't. So if you wanted another another cork, just put one on and, and you won't probably have the finger length to do that. And you can have that one offset as well. But this is what we've got here. I think we've kind of got the basic corkscrew design there and you can take your time with this and and mess around with it till you get it just what, you, what it feels right but I think I got this one about where I want it now I'm going to take a, a white marker and draw a white line down the center of the blank as best as my eye will tell allow me to do it And then I'm going to label these one through seven. That way I know how to glue them on, what sequence to glue it on, glue them on, and, and get them all lined up properly before they go into the clamp. So we'll glue this together, and then we'll get it into the lathe, and we'll show you how to shape it. So we'll be right back. 
Okay, your primary tools for shaping this is the again the Stanley wood rasp, but I'm going to use the half round on this, and then the sanding screen. You're the only two tools you'll you'll need. So I'm going to get started at this, and what I'm going to do is just knock down the edges that and, and make them join everybody else. Um, I might stop some at some point during the filming of this, uh, just so we don't burn up a lot of video. Um, but I'll get at it, and I'll show you that this is easy, it's easy to shape. It comes down quite easily with the sure form. Okay, I've got it filed down to the shape, desired shape that I wanted. It fills up the palm swell of my of my hand quite nicely. Um, it just fits the hand comfortably. It'll be a nice handle to to hold on. Then I took uh, some drywall sandpaper and worked on it in this fashion. You can also turn the lathe on if you want and just uh, hold some skinnier pieces. Work it around on all, all sides. It'll take a majority of uh, the smoothing for you. It'll do, it'll do a lot of the work. But then you can go in and get some of the nooks and crannies that you couldn't get when it was turning. And I think I've gotten it down to the point where we can put the 60 grit paper on it. A little bit more right there. It really doesn't take a lot. So. Okay, I've got the 60 grit paper. We'll go at this to get that nap up and cosmetically blend in all the surfaces. rounded off those edges with the lathe and then we've got a offset custom corkscrew foregrip very comfortable to hold on to for a long day on the water throwing musky baits and, and other presentations thank you for watching